Many in the PanicAttackRecovery.com community have revealed self-esteem problems. We feel it is such an important topic for sufferers of anxiety, ADHD, and depression that it should be done as part of a series rather than just one video. In each lesson in the series, we will provide a tip that you can choose to work on for your self-esteem. PanicAttackRecovery.com in this first video, we'd like to start by asking you a number of questions. What if I asked you to consider what effect improving self-esteem would have on your life? Do you think an improvement would affect your level of anxiety, frustrations with ADHD or depression? What about your performance in your job or even in your extracurricular activities? Do you think improved self-esteem might improve your relationships with others? What about parenting? Let me ask you this question slightly differently. Do you think there are many areas in your life that would not be helped by improving your self-esteem? The point of these questions is to start you thinking about the benefits of improving self-esteem and now we'd like to offer a suggestion. We believe that a healthy routine could offer a key breakthrough for sufferers. Establishing a healthy routine might not be the first thing that one would think of when it comes to self-esteem, but many in our community have found it helpful. We'd like to mention a paper listed in PubMed titled, The Mindful Self, A Mindfulness Enlightened Self View. This article noted the following. Our review of empirical research reveals that positive changes in attitude towards the self and others as a result of mindfulness-enabled practices can play an important role in modulating many mental and physical health problems. One of the beneficial characteristics of meditation is mindfulness. We discussed in a previous video how mindfulness can help with cognitive control and enable us to better bring our attention back where we want to focus. This can be helpful for anyone, but in particular, anxiety and ADHD sufferers who often find their thoughts wandering all over the place. Best of all, meditation is a technique that doesn't have to require a great deal of effort. We're not here to promote any specific technique. There's a great deal of good information on meditation out there that you can avail yourself of. Our first recommendation in the series is to give meditation a try. If you're already meditating, then rest assured that meditation can offer many benefits. We hope that you have enjoyed this first video on self-esteem and look forward to presenting a new video in the series next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.